Bites, and today I'm going to teach you how to navigate the menu in the editor of Milo. So if you want to log in and follow along, once we log in, we're going to go to the top right corner. This is your menu, and we're going to go ahead and click on it. So we'll start at account, and this is just where you can go ahead and update your password at any time. And you just want to make sure that you follow these rules right here for your password and save changes. And then we'll go back to the menu. Next, we'll go to publish settings. And this is where you can go ahead and copy your link. And that will be your link for your website. And then you can also request to go live. You can also choose to put your website on your custom domain. So once you request to go live, we can help you with that. So you don't have to have it say Socia Sites. You can have it say your actual business name. And then you're going to go to link in bio. So this is a fun, fun feature. You can go ahead and enable this for mobile. So a link in bio is, as you know, um, you've seen them all over the internet and social media. And we have our own link in bio platform called Socia Tap, T-A-P. And we've added a simple version in your editor. So if you enable yes, what makes this so nice is that your website on desktop will look like an actual website like you're used to. And then on the mobile, it will have links. And what makes the link in bio nice for your mobile is that people can find things really quickly. They can find a gallery. They can find about you quickly. They can find the client proofing if they're trying to find that. They can find your shop if they're trying to find that. And they don't have to surf through your entire website when they're on the mobile phone. So this is the best of both worlds. You can have a link in bio on your actual um, mobile. And then you can have your real website on desktop, or you can just say no and just keep it as is. And then we'll go back, you'll go to your cart settings. So you can enable cart settings and you can follow all these directions, super, super easy. And you'll have to enable the cart here first. And this allows you to sell your images in galleries, in the blog, in client proofing sections. So you want to go ahead and enable this, and then in each section you can choose to turn it off or on. Next, you're going to go to Sales, and this is if you sell um, images on the website, you'll have a purchase su summary of everyone that buys anything. And then you go to Purchasers, you'll have client profiles of everyone that purchases something. So these are really fun if you sell images. And then you can click on SEO. And you want to go in here and add your title, your site description, and your keywords so that you can start ranking on Google. And then you're going to go down to favicon and link. So you can go ahead and add your image here. And this image will be the image so when you text your friends your new website, this image will show up. So it can either be an image of you your business or maybe you know anything that you wish you can add anything that you want you can even add your logo okay so you definitely want this so that socia sites isn't the the logo when you send out your link and then you're going to scroll down to stat tracking and this is really nice you can go ahead and uh, do your time zone and then you can see your total views, your unique views. And so you can see how many people clicked on your slideshow, your galleries, your newsletter. And you can kind of rearrange your, um, your uh, links and buttons and menu um, to accommodate you know, the different stats you're seeing. And then you can go down and you can see this. You can clear all your stats. And then you definitely want to add third-party stat settings. So you definitely want to add your Facebook Pixels ID here. You can do your Google and you can do Stat Counter. And so these are just more ways to see in-depth analytics for your website, which is really, really good. And then if you click this, you can go to FTP Upload 
and that's just so you can upload images for the website. And then, of course, we have the support button. And you can send us a support ticket at any time. We have excellent, excellent customer service. Um, we want to make sure that you get through this process very easily, not, no frustration, and that you have need any help, we're here for you. If you have wishes or wants or you have feedback, um, we love to hear all of it. So make sure you send us a support ticket at any time. And then that kind of goes out, and that's your entire um, menu. And then, of course, you can log out. So this is where you see all of these settings. And then you can also go to this preview button, and this is the YouTube tutorials for this website, Milo. So I've broken them down into every section, so they're super quick and very easy to follow. And so if you have any questions about the sections, you're not sure how to use them, how to set them up, what to do, this is where you go. And hopefully after all of this information, you just find it super easy to use social sites. Um, I think we have one of the best editors. Okay, have a great day.